Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Mm, bear with me, okay, because my voices went out and shit, messages still gotta get done, right? <laughs> so, I wanna thank you all so much for all of the love and support to this channel. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna be a read for all my divine feminine out there, okay? Um, this is the energy of what's coming towards you, okay? So first, I'm going to pull your energy, Divine Fam. Then we're going to delve into what's coming towards you. I'm going to pull tarot cards where we look at the situation at hand, what to expect, what's coming towards you, right? And then moving forward past that, that's what I'm going to close out the read with. So when we gain an understanding of what's coming towards you, I'm going to close out the read with how will you take that? standpoint and move forward into the future okay so if you want to book a personal reading with me you can do so down below in the description box all right um i want to thank everyone who has booked personal readings with me know that i do have a plethora of personal readings and i will continue to add to that um i do have tier reading um personal readings for tarot readers okay i have ancestor reads i have you know one question two question of course um pretty much any and everything you can think of okay um you guys can check that out under the book a personal or book a reading tab on my website all of that information is down below and i definitely want to thank everyone that has bought uh, my oracle decks as well thank you so much for all of the love and support okay um i want to thank everyone too for all of the likes to this channel it definitely helps build the channel okay i'm an energy reader so it definitely helps me pick up on energy as well as like an energy exchange right um i want to thank everyone for all of the tips and donations as well okay i'm a very appreciative person so if you own you know you ain't got nothing to do with this fast forward you know you don't want to hear that part you can always feel free to fast forward but i'm gonna always thank you all okay thank you so much um so remember that tear could play out past present or future all right so take it if it's your story leave it if it isn't you can always check out my playlist right i don't know if i already said that but look Let's go ahead and delve into this reading. What is divine feminine's energy right now? Please and thank you. So right now, divine feminine, you're in this warm-minded, militant type of energy. I feel like you have your guards up, okay? You're not really being too judgmental about mistakes, maybe that you made in the past. It's just that you're protecting your energy moving forward. I definitely see that, okay? I don't see you really being open to a lot of people right now. Um, you could be going through a moment of change, all right. And um, it has you feeling a little vulnerable. So your guards are really up right now. Um, there is a twin flame connection um, in the midst of I am film. We're going to clarify this. Um, I don't know if you're fully aware of this. OK, the fact that um, this is a reverse, it's like a narcissist that doesn't want to be released out of your energy divine them. It's like you're um, pushing forward. This person wants you to be stuck, okay? You're moving towards your twin flame, whether you know it or not, divine them. I'm saying that because this is a twin flame card, right? And the war-minded militant is looking like they're fighting towards this twin flame, right? When we see the flames in this first card and we see the flames here, it's like, I'm going to fight for this, right? It's like, I don't even know if you're fully aware that you're doing this. You're just fighting for a new beginning. You're fighting through some moment of change, okay? Whether it looks little or big to you, it is something of most significance, divine fam. I feel like you have an energy of forgiveness here where you forgive your twin flame. All right. Um, planning a secret escape and you turn in reverse. It's like this person is going to make it known to you that I, I don't know with this being your energy. It's like you're almost willing to you're moving towards forgiveness. I guess when this person shows up, um, officially in your physical life 
things will start to rapidly take off, right? Right now, this person is like a single bachelor, a single masculine energy, but it's like they want you to move towards forgiveness. It's like you're moving towards forgiving a secret, uh, a secret. Oh, shit, divine fam. Okay, so, um, but it's like you're forgiving a single bachelor. The bottom deck we have is soulmate. So divine soul connection, okay? And then we have narcissism reverse, all right? Perfectionist and shady female. Never satisfied, always wanting more, but in reverse. I feel like this is someone who is going to come in your energy and they could already be in your energy, okay? But you don't see them as stable. You saw them possibly as a soulmate, divine film. You probably think they're a soulmate of yours, okay? But you don't know that you're pushing through some type of separate change from that that's um, helping you gain some type of independence here. You're unknowingly moving towards this twin flame, but there is a forgiveness energy, okay? So let's throw some tarot on it. Let's see what's coming towards you, divine feminine, okay? Please and thank you. Okay, so we have two. Divine Femme, you're really fighting, moving forward. You could be a Leo or have fire in your chart. Okay, with the five of wands, I see that you're fighting. You're like, fuck this. I'm going to get out and go for what it is that I, that I want. You see even these two mice down here fighting. It's like shit. Now or never. And you're calling upon his strength in order to seal the fucking deal, Divine Fam. Good job. With the Knight of Cups here, it's almost like you owe this to yourself to, of course, move the fuck to calmer waters, right? But to heal, okay? To come back to your true calm, like demeanor, your true self, okay? Let's get some on this Twin Flame energy, please, and thank you. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like you have options. So you're not really singling it down to this one person. In fact, I'm telling you, Divine Femme, you think that this person is like a soulmate of some type. You just think like you all just bond real good. And, you know, this person could be a Scorpio because there's a lot of fire in here, too. Makes me think of the Death card. Okay, um, with the Ace of Swords and the Devil, and then there's more fucking fire. There's so much passionate, like, energy between the two of you. It's like this person is um, obsessed about giving you some type of truth. You see how they're all in their head? It's an illusion how they're all in their head because they're obsessing over it, right? Maybe because this person, your twin flame can feel like you can, you know, um, shifting your energies. It's like they feel like you can have an options. You know, they're coming to fuck in and they're bent on it, like obsessed with this. With the will of fortune, it's like divine timing. It's like this is going to fucking happen. It's happening. <laughs> so, look, let's get something on forgiveness, please. And thank you. For what's coming towards divine feminine. Okay, so victory. Know that you're going to be victorious. This person is going to be victorious. You will forgive this person, divine feminine. It is justice. It is karma. It is hidden. Okay, it is hidden from you. Okay, because you're still in this energy of possibly not trusting this person. Okay, this person from the past. Oh, wow. And you're holding back from them. But it's like you want to dump all of this love off on them. Yeah, but you will. I, I see you giving in to it, but we'll clarify that. Um, let me get something on this single bachelor and then the overall energy. Please and thank you. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands here, there is going to be an energy of this person rushing in sporadically it's almost like they rushed in and out of your life anyway so you kind of feel like they're in that energy but they're it's like a spontaneous sporadic type of energy here you are their happiness you very well could be a leo i heard libra so you both could have something similar in your charts like two libra moons or two Libra ascendant. It's something like that. And then you have fire in your chart, Divine Femme. The bottom deck energy is the two of cups. 
all right there is love and equal love here okay but there is that energy of needing to fix where you fucked up at right but it's justice for this to take place okay there's that libra energy because right now it's like this opportunity is being wasted ace of pentacles this person wants to come in and fix the tower they're gonna come the fuck in you're not gonna know um with this queen of swords like i said um, you could have Libra in your chart heavy somewhere aspected. Um, but it's like, damn, you are really going to forgive this person. It's almost like when they come in, you're going to reciprocate the energy. Like, look, I was really fucking suffering too. I was really stressed out too. You know, I'm not even finna front. Like, that's what I'm getting. So let's pull it. Moving forward, Divine Fem, what is your energy like? towards this person when they come in. How are you finna be? Please and thank you. Wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting. Do I need to go on? Like, you're fighting for this the whole time. Do you know it, like, consciously? I don't know. I think you're just trying to fight through a pivotal moment in your life, but it ushers in shit fucking bliss this person okay it's like the both of y'all okay you're coming out of this outdated thinking this conditioning okay it's almost like on the flip side you're having options and you like shit i don't you know i don't really it's like these options don't really do it for you divine fam and likewise it's like this masculine can pick up on the energy of other people wanting you or something and it's just like, even they're thinking like, fuck, somebody going to get divine film. It's something like an outdated thinking that this masculine has that they too are mirroring. Okay, there's the heartbroken energy, deeply hurt, sad separation breakup. That's why this masculine is coming to fuck back in, being victorious. They want me to show you the bottom deck. Abundance. So keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what it is you want. Gratitude, bliss. Somebody here could have allergies. Um, especially if you just sneeze, then there's a message here for you. Um, to clarify the sun, it's like this masculine was in a karmic relationship. Or that is what you're coming out of. You're fighting through a karmic relationship. Ultimately, freeing yourself up for your twin flame, divine film. Okay, that's where we see the fleeting triggers. It's like this masculine was in that Knight of Wands energy and they're coming out of that because they want to go towards happiness. Something with more foundation. There is the take a chance risk because it's like options on both sides, the way that you both view it. But there will be a lighthearted energy of finding out like things come into light, changing and healing. Okay. And then there's that stability. All right, growth, endurance, flexibility, everything that one could want moving forward. Let me throw some tear on it uh, when I close, as I close out this read with moving forward for Divine Femme. Let's get some clarity, please, and thank you. Wow, Divine Femme, it's like you're sitting here just working, minding your own fucking business. And this masculine offers some type of proposal to you. It comes right in, probably right when you get through this moment of change in your life. Yeah, and then there's the Ace of Pentacles upright. I know when I was showing y'all the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, y'all like, what the fuck is she talking about? Look, here it is upright. This masculine is going to offer you, it's going to be the best fucking option. Both sides, both ways, they're going to be confident when they come in, okay? Re releasing that outdated thinking, okay? And changing your mind, damn near, showing you like, well, damn, go ahead, you got it, because you're giving me that growth and stability, okay? With the Knight of Cups here to clarify this heartbroken energy, it's like they come in and they save the day, right? This masculine offers the ultimate offer of love to their feminine. They are victorious, right? And then there's the tower energy. Because divine femme, like I said, you're leaving a karmic relationship. This whole situation is going to happen very fast after you get out of this situation, okay? 
whatever it is that you're needing to free yourself up for this connection. Like I said, you think this person is just a soulmate, but they're really your twin flame, all right? This is all hidden from you, right? The world that you're going to be happy, that you're going to have completion after total fucking betrayal, heartbreak, burnout. That's why you in this fucking war-minded militant energy because you had to make it out. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Betrayal. Page of Wands. Somebody just could have cheated on you, you know? Somebody from your past, someone that didn't really express emotion. That could be the backdrop to this masculine even. And then they make a choice. The choice is you, Queen of Wands. You very well could be a fire sign. But if you're not, you have it somewhere in your chart or you're just exuding this fiery energy. They see you as beautiful, handsome, right? Creative, sensual, a mystery, but like a warrior. So strong, divine fam. So if this message resonated with you smash that like button if you want to see more reads like this one smash that like button you know i thank you all so much for all of the love support tips and donations to this channel until then peace and love